Okay, today I'm going to do a demonstration on um, how to uh, set up a scanner drum. And uh, uh, what you need to do is first of all have a, a really clean drum, which means uh, special cleaners for plexiglass. Don't use glass cleaners because they're of abrasive. They have abrasives uh, in them. And they, um, you need something that's uh, specifically for plexiglass to clean and make sure they're uh, totally clean. You also need a scanner overlay graphic arts film, which is mylar, which is a uh, optically correct uh, piece of uh, acetate. Uh, there's a line across the drum in both directions. You need to line it up so it's perfectly even. Then take a piece of uh, special tape. Uh, Cami makes this tape. It's for uh, gum scanning. And you need to set it down about half uh, of one inch tape on the uh, on the drum and uh, half of it on the uh, mylar itself just like that and then I take a, a small piece and put it at the other end uh, which I'll explain to you in a second the reason for that now you need to clean your negative even though um, we'll be uh, using um, a uh, cami um, scanner mounting fluid, you still need to uh, clean the negative off really well, make sure it doesn't have dirt or anything on it. And you usually do it with canned air. You can do it with a micro um, uh, woven cloth, or you could use it with a scanner wipe or a Weeble wipe, which is right here. Uh, any of those things will uh, clean the negative. And then canned air, or if you have a uh, compressed air. Um, uh, would uh, really help get all the dust off the negative, which I've already done. Now, today I'm going to do an 8x10 negative. Uh, it's a little trickier. Um, the uh, emulsion side will be down, the positive side will be up uh, for this particular scanner. I'm going to set it underneath the mylar like this so that it's even. The next step is to take uh, scanner mounting fluid and apply it to the surface of the uh, mylar like this. Now, I have to say, uh, other you know, it's there's a lot of ways to do this, and I found this to be the uh, the best way for me. Uh, some people lay a bead down across the top and then roll it out. It just seems easier and better for me to, uh, to do it this way. Okay. Apply it liberally and then uh, bring down your roller. Now I'm going to use my foot to start this, uh, the motor rolling the uh, drum, so that you create a bead across here and it's putting mounting fluid on both sides obviously and then pulling it out and the reason I put that little piece of tape there is that the mounting fluid, extra mounting fluid, will come out and I can just sort of dry it off here. Okay, I'm going to lift the uh, platform up, um, dry this off, pull this to make it free so I can move it around. And I'm going to do this once more just to make sure there are no bubbles. Bubbles are the big culprit here. Uh, try to avoid them. And I'll show you how to get rid of them if uh, you do get any bubbles. Okay. The, uh, the mylar is uh, 9 by 11 and the uh, actual uh, uh, negative is 8 by 10 as you can see. Okay. Now the next step is to encase this mounting fluid in there so it doesn't dry. And uh, it's a simple matter of laying tape on either side of this just like this and getting tape for the other side and applying the tape to the mylar in the glass for the tube itself okay I'm going to roll this once again just to make sure that there are no bubbles in there 
and each time I sort of dry off the excess that comes out the bottom. Okay. Okay, we've got uh, literally no bubbles at all, so that's good. I'm going to take this off now and put the final uh, piece on the bottom, across the bottom, to encase the whole thing. I'm just going to lay this on the mylar, just like that, and then I'm going to kind of pull this down. Um, make it totally stretched it out so that the base of this is curved on there. Now there are a few bubbles down here that I'm just going to push off to the side. Okay, that's really no problem. It looks pretty good. Okay, looking at the uh, scanner with the light below, uh, you can see bubbles if there are any, and just push them off to the side. Make sure you use a uh, either a micro uh, microfiber cloth or a scanning cloth because uh, you don't want any marks on this. The scanner will pick it up. Okay. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to go.